All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of SA Boxing Talk. Uh, we're tuning in uh, for, all the way from New Zealand at the moment uh, with his boxer, Ellen Simwaka. Welcome, Mike. Uh, how's everything going? Hi, Hayden. Thank you so much for having me on. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, everything's going great at the moment. A uh, lot of excitement in the camp. Yeah, let's talk about uh, the IBO world title. Obviously, that's a, a massive uh, thing for Ellen Simwaka to be contesting in. And I think a lot of people back home are obviously wishing she brings the belt home. Let us know, what are her chances of bringing the belt home? No, look, um, I th there's, there's no... Um, I mean, we know Mia Mott is an extremely difficult opponent. Um, she's 16 and 0. So we're in for a, we're in for a really good fight. But um, I think, you know, Ellen, she's got, uh, she's got a lot of... Um, like I said, there's a lot of fire in her belly for this fight specifically. Um, and... Yeah, we we definitely we ready for this fight. So I, you know, we've we've looked at a lot of tape with regards to Mia. Um, as I said, great fighter, but we've definitely um, noticed a couple of uh, weak points, which we which we're going to exploit on 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 Saturday. So yeah, we've been working extremely hard on on those things. So yeah, come Saturday night, we'll be extremely prepared. And what's the energy like in the camp? I mean, obviously, Wisdom Toro is the head trainer. You've recently come on in the management capacity. Uh, how's everything going along in terms of the relationships between all of you? Yeah, look, um, you know, it's uh, as always, you know, when there's a new new voice that come comes into into a camp and that sort of thing that's been, you know, in existence for a while. Um, you know, sometimes you have a bit of teething problems and that, but you know, how I base my my management style and that on is everything needs to be <coughs> clear cut communication from from A right through to Z, you know. Um, so, you know, you know, it's been great. There, there's, there's, like I say, you know, you get a bit of teething problems in that, but uh, we, we gelling really well now at the moment. We're all on the same page, which is, which is great. Um, and yeah, it's just that, you know, the as long as the communication levels are at a hundred percent, then, the, you know, then there's no, there's no hidden agendas. There's no, nobody knows what's going on or this or that. So, so yeah, so we've, we've worked hard in terms of making sure we all want the same for the fighter. We all want the same in terms of the road in, in, in where we're taking. Um, and we all have that common goal now. Where that's what we want to achieve. So we're all on the same page, and that's fantastic. Yeah. And in terms of a personal capacity for you, I mean, this will be your first time traveling as a boxing manager as well. So a very good experience that you'll be taking on board. Um, so far, um, what have you taken out of the trip? I know it's only been one day that you've been there. You're probably a little bit jet lagged, but what, what have you taken out of it? You know, I'll I, I tell you what, Hayden, it's actually amazing. Um, I, I thought I was going to be quite jet lagged, but I, I'm not. Um, there's just so much energy in this camp. Everybody's, you know, we're rearing to go. We've got energy. Um, but, you know, it's it's amazing to just sort of see how the different promoters work, the different gyms, the different um, ways that they deal with the day-to-days, you know. Uh, so, you know, for me, I, I just want to gain as much experience, uh, you know, through these journeys uh through these trips and that is you know take as much out of it as possible so it can just put me in a good stead going forward um you know because obviously the plan and the goal is to look you know to signing more talent to get more boxes on board um but you know when you're dealing with different promotions and you're going to different countries and things like that it's i mean it's invaluable experience you know so you you pick up a lot you learn a lot you make a lot of contacts which is great um so it, it, you know it's very much a learning curve so wherever I go, I've got my pen and paper and I'm making notes and taking numbers and names and, you know, so, so yeah, so it's, it's been good. <clears throat> and uh, from what you've gathered so far, New Zealand boxing, is there, is there a hype, uh, that side, obviously, we, we, from a primarily, well, you know, South African boxing, I know that, Jay, for, from your side, um, you've recently transitioned to a manager. So what, what's your take on New Zealand boxing? Look, I, I, I tell you what, the, the, the general consensus that, that we were, I mean, when we walked through the airport, we came through customs uh, and, and the gent, you know, the gent uh, asked me, he said, you know, like, uh, what, why are you guys here? And I, and I explained to him and he said, oh, you know, that's great. It's really awesome to see boxing on the up, you know, in, in, in New Zealand, which and everywhere we go, I mean, we're wearing our tops and things like that. We're being asked, like, you know, when is the event? When is it happening? Can they get tickets? I mean, this is people, like local people asking us, where can they get tickets? And, you know, this is great. And, oh, you know, they, they can't wait to see Mia Motu in action. And then they're asking you about Ellen. And, you know, then it's not only Ellen. I mean, we're traveling with a different camps as well, as you know, uh, Levuyo and Rizal Mohamed. And it's just, it's very much like we're a click 
and everybody comes to us asking about what's happening, when's the event, and it's great that, uh, you know, we've got some boxing in New Zealand again. So I think the hype in terms of boxing in, in, in New Zealand, because Mia's won the, the IBO Championship, has definitely elevated the, the, the you know, the, the fan base, if you want to call it that. Um, there's a lot of media coverage around this event uh, and around, uh, you know, the peach boxing. And I think uh, tomorrow at the we've got the open media workout and interviews with uh, <clears throat> New Zealand TV and stuff. So I think that there's there's a lot of um, there's a lot of you know uh, uh, interest with regards to it. But I mean, even as much as walking through an airport and guys are coming up asking when's the event and you know what channels are going to be on and can they watch it. So it's definitely uh, you know I definitely see. And I mean the, the gym we were at today, um, you know you can just see there's. I actually wanted to tell you. Uh, you, I mean, Cowan Ray, as you know, he I mean, he moved here to to New Zealand. He actually trains at that gym, so <laughs> it's just amazing. You, know, you you walk into a gym that you, I mean, you know, you're given the brief to say this is where you're going to work out, this is where that your guys are going to use and that. But you know, you get there and they knew Levuio from the Commonwealth Games, and uh, you know, they 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 said you know Cowan Ray, and then you know they oh they know Vusi, and then everybody starts talking, and it's just boxing gets spoken about. You know, the, it's just uh, the the level of Passion for boxing in New Zealand is extremely strong um, at the moment, especially. Yeah, so there's there's a lot of talk about boxing, which is great. Yeah, that's great. And obviously, you need to feel the atmosphere as well. And then Ellen obviously is uh, elevating female boxing here on the African continent, along with a few other uh, good names. Should Ellen win the IBO World Title and bring it home to Africa? What do you what do you what do you envision uh, for her future? Does she uh, does she go back and fight abroad? Uh, do you look to to defend her locally? What what is the plan? Look, uh, I, I'm not sure if, if you know. So uh, obviously, there's a rematch clause. Um, so there's a 30-day uh, activation on the on the rematch clause, um, and I think that's obviously that's where we are right now. That's where the focus is. Um, but I think come Saturday night, we'll then obviously determine the future w w where it is that we're going. So right now, the the most important goal is we we had to pull off the biggest heist, and we had to take that belt. Um, and then once, you know, like I said, we everything is on open communication and that. So once that happens, because it's going to happen come Saturday night, uh, we see myself and Ellen will all sit down. And then obviously with the rematch clause in place, that'll take place in that. But we, we've got a, a, an idea of where we want to go and how we want to map this out in that. So right now, the most important focus is that belt because that's what, we, what we're here for. So, so yeah. How how easy or how um, how difficult were the negotiations uh, putting this one together? Because um, obviously New Zealand, as we mentioned, is a growing boxing scene, and obviously you would have been either you approached the promoter, or the promoter approached you. How did that situation play play out? Um, yeah, look, uh, I, I've been speaking to Isaac Peach for a while. Uh, we 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 traded a bit of uh, messages back and forth in that. Um, but we had a common opponent. Um, Nasser and Fatty, um, Mia fought her, uh, and they fought to a split decision. Uh, and then Ellen fought the same opponent, and we came up short in in Dubai the, in, to, uh, early on in the year. So we had a common opponent. So we we were sort of earmarking the Mia Motu fight, you know, just before and during negotiations with the Fat uh, Nasser and Fatty fight. Um, but you know, once w once the fight had happened, I mean, I kept, we continued to speak to Isaac Peach, and that you know, we 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 said, look, we, we we are hungry for this fight. You know, we do want this fight. You know, and the thing is, like in life, sometimes you know, blips happen. You know, um, you know, we 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 don't look at losses as definitions. I mean, we don't we're not defined by losses and that. You know, so uh, we had a couple of back and forths, uh, but it was relatively easy to put together. Um, and I think when you're working with promoters and and matchmakers and that that want to do things for boxing and not not for own personal you know gain or anything like that. This the the process is actually quite smooth. Um, you know, when all parties are on board, it's really not a lot of negotiation that goes that goes back and forth. You know, so there's good mutual respect, a um, lot of respect for Isaac Peach Peach Boxing. Uh, but Saturday night, all that goes out the window. We can we'll have a beer in the sheds afterwards, but. Now it's strictly business. <laughs> All right. And uh, I want to break a few South African people's hearts um, to acknowledge the fact that you're a New Zealand rugby supporter, obviously, is uh, upsetting. Um, so um, did you use that uh, persuasion to get the deal done? 
to New Zealand. Uh, strangely enough, I, I actually did. Um, I, I spoke to him uh, in, 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 I threw some Maori words out there, uh, which I think took him off guard a little bit, but it, you know, it was an icebreaker. So it, 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 I think it did work in our favor. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I think we, we might even have some, some, uh, some ex rugby talent in the house on Saturday night as well, which is which is even a plus. So so yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a plus. Uh, Viva the Springboks uh, to win the World Cup. Um, but anyway, let's uh, move on from that. Um, <laughs> Mike, can I get a, can I get a prediction from you? I know Ellen Ellen was hesitant uh, to do a prediction. Uh, she's uh, firmly concentrated on on winning the belt. Uh, but from your end, uh, what, what would your prediction be for the fight? Look, Aiden, like I said, I'll be honest with you, we know we're in for a tough fight. Uh, we know, um, you know, Mia's an, an extremely talented fighter, um, but we wouldn't have taken this fight if we didn't believe that, that we could do this, you know. Um, so we've, we've trained, um, obviously, without giving too much away, but we've, we, we definitely see loopholes, we see uh, mistakes, we see where we can capitalize. Um, but I can promise you, come Saturday night, you will see a measured performance by Ellen. Um, an extremely measured performance. We have a solid game plan, but not only do we have a game plan, we've, we've put two or three game plans in place so that we're not surprised by anything. You know, um, we, we, we really are taking this fight, not that we haven't taken any other fight, but, you know, we've really sat down, we've studied tape, we've, we've you know, we, it's been such a collective um, I mean, you know, the, the, just in Ellen's camp, I mean, you know, she's working with fighters like Darren Rousseau. She's working with Devin Savanda. Um, you know, there's so much talent that gives her tips and also helps and assists. So we've all watched tape. We've all sat together and thought, how are we going to, you know, approach this fight in, in the best possible way to give us the best possible opportunity of winning, you know? And, and at the end of the day, how we see it, everything's about teamwork. You know, there's there's no I. We, we're here to do this together. We want to achieve this because we want this. There's a lot of, you know, stuff we want to do going forward. You know, so, <clears throat> so yeah. So I, my 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 take on it will be um, a, a points victory. If the knockout comes, we'll take it obviously. But uh, the way we're approaching this fight is it's going to be methodical, uh, and we're going to break her down. But it's going to be a strong, solid points victory. Yeah, that that's how that's where we go. What we're looking at it. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. The long way around giving me that final answer, wasn't it? Um, Mark, <laughs> thank you very much. Well, you, know, you try, you try and sound, you try and sound as diplomatic <laughs> as possible, but mm. but yeah. So mm. yeah, we're breaking it down. Put it that way. We'll break it down. Okay, I get you on that one. And obviously, um, you you're right about it. It's going to be a very tough fight. So going, uh, going going into New Zealand as the the away fighter is always going to be difficult. Going anywhere as the away fighter is always going to be a really difficult. Uh, time mike um just lastly um do you want to say anything uh, last comments last thank yous anything like that yeah look uh, right, look thanks for you you know and all you do for for for, for boxing I, you know i sometimes think you you're extremely the unsung hero in everything because i don't think people realize that what you do you don't do for money um, you know, it, often it comes out of your own pocket. So the thing is, you know, you're always taking time to to go and interview fighters and that so that, you know, the general public and fans and things like that can get a closer insight into it, you know. So before anything is said, tip my hat off to you. And I mean, we've been mates for a while and, you know, off camera we always talk about things and, and that. But, you know, I think it, it's more kudos needs to be given because I don't quite think people realize just how much you actually do for for the sport of, of of boxing so from from soldier boy boxing we'd like to say thank you and we appreciate it very much so so thank you for having us on um but i think just you know <laughs> the up this this specific camp we've we've had a lot of uh, uh, um, people that have really been there for us um and you know like now obviously with uh, Ellen and myself, you know, starting up and that. So we, there's a couple of thank yous I'd like to give out. That's okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, not that I want to leave anyone out, but like I say, we've had so many instrumental people in this camp um, that's really helped us and, and given us a, a good footing, you know. Um, so we just like to say thank you to Kaylin from, from Shrike Solutions, uh, Kimberly from the Graphics Design, um, Alistair from... Branded apparel, he did all our embroidery uh, and that. I mean, you, we've got, I mean, the fastest, coolest growing energy drink in South Africa. 
Slayer Energy. If you haven't liked their page or, or, or seen what they do, you've got to go check it out. Um, Donny has been absolutely tremendous. Uh, the, the, you know, the, the input with regards to her meal plans and, and, and things like that has been invaluable. So we're really grateful for that. Um, I think Ellen did mention uh, her, her friend, Donna, who's like a sister to all of us. I mean, she's also been exceptionally tre tremendous. Grip boxing. So, you know, the thing is, there's, uh, there's so many people that have, it's, it's actually quite nice because we, when, when I, when I started with Ellen, um, it seemed like there was, there wasn't much verbal talk going, you know, between everyone and that. And we've just, this last couple of months, everyone's just gelled together. Uh, we're all on a group and everyone's talking and communicating and it's just been phenomenal. But, you know, the thing is like, I don't think enough thanks is given uh, and especially like I mentioned in your case with SA Boxing, the more thanks that's given, the more you put it out there that people are doing, you will attract you will attract more influence, more people that, that, that come on board and would like to do, you know. So, like, you know, if I could just close off with a, with a saying that I like to use, that I've, I've, you know, had for always, is that there's, you know, that there's magic in boxing, okay? And the, sorry, there's magic in boxing. It's the magic of fighting battles beyond endurance, okay, beyond difficult moments, beyond the hard training camps, beyond all the naysayers. Uh, for me, it's it's the magic of risking everything for a dream that nobody sees but you, you know. So for me, boxing is just magical. And I think the more we talk about it, the more people that uh, influence and give back and everything, I think it's just that's how the sport's going to grow. So... Yeah, look, I think it's early days, but I'm extremely passionate about boxing uh, and I'm really looking forward to this journey. And I think what better way to cap it off with the, with the Super Bantamweight world title. So let's go. Saturday come, baby. <laughs> let's go, champ. All the best for the, for the fights. And um, we'll try to see if as many people from South Africa and uh, Malawi can watch it as well. it be nice to see the belt coming back home. All the best. Awesome. Thank you so much, Eddie. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it.